So I'm gonna lay down my plastic. This week was supposed to be a little bit warmer, above zero, but the next four or five days, supposed to be high as zero. The only catch is that it snowed quite a bit more than I was thinking, so not sure what's gonna happen. I'm thinking that when I put the tarp down and put the water on it, the water will be a lot warmer, although it's cold water. It'll be a lot warmer than the, the snow, so it'll just melt. So I don't think there'll be any issues, but we'll find out. Overall, it went pretty well. I added some clamps on this side here, just to keep it in place. I want to make sure that this side of the ice, where the plastic comes over the boards, I don't have to touch again because I can't really get in behind. Whereas the rest of the rink, here, here, and over here, I can still get behind so I can maneuver the plastic. So I've tried to make this edge uh, pretty good so that I don't have to touch it again. Um, you'll see throughout there are some bumps and the odd crease so I flattened it out pretty well but the water as it fills up it'll start in this corner it's the lowest point and then work its way up this way it'll naturally smooth everything out. You get the odd crease but for the most part it should be pretty smooth so I'll probably just uh, tidy up this corner here and then start filling up with water. And lastly, you'll probably notice I was avoiding walking on the plastic because I have my boots on. Uh, it's really easy to get a pinhole leak. So if I was gonna walk on it, I would either go barefoot or in socks, um, which is why, like I was saying earlier, I wanted to have the clamps over here so I don't have to walk on, hopefully, walk on the, the plastic. Um, but if you do have to, I would suggest not using boots and either, like I said, using your bare feet or just walking in socks so you don't get a small hole because what you can happen is you can have a pinhole leak anywhere and you can't find it. There's no bubbles to indicate where it's coming from and you'll end up having voids in the ice where there's no water because it's been slowly leaking out so it's something to keep in mind and I also wanted to mention I do have a lot of excess here uh, along the sides it doesn't seem to be too bad but I was trying to get a 34 by 34 rink I did some rough measurements in the summer thinking I could get an extra three four feet for what I had last year I was only able to get 32 and a half by 32 and a half so I ordered this back in September because I find when you try to order in December even late November the stock levels aren't really there so it can be harder to get the plastic so I ordered it ahead of time thinking if I had too much it wasn't the end of the world so that's why you see looks like maybe four feet of excess here but one thing to consider when you're picking out your plastic is that you need to go up and over the boards so although I have 2 by 10s all the way around, this one corner I have a 2 by 10 with 2 by 6 on top. So I need the plastic to go up and over the boards. So that's just something to consider when you're picking out your plastic. Okay, I've connected the hose. So I'm ready to start filling up. I do have uh, these all season taps. So I don't have to shut the water off so I can do things like this. And also I can use this as a hot one here for flooding. So 
So nothing fancy here. I just use a it's like a nylon hose I got from Costco. It's light, which is why I use it. It's an all-season hose. Nothing fancy. Nothing winter specific or anything. Um, so I'll let this fill up. It'll probably take eight to ten hours. I think is what it was last year. Check on it every couple hours to see how the plastic's faring. What will happen is once this fills up, it'll start pulling the plastic in different directions. So what I had last year is I had some clips along here, not these kinds of clips, different kinds, and they all popped off into the, the rink. So I had to go fetch them out. And then as for when to fill up, you're good anytime around zero Celsius. Maybe minus one. I think today right now it's minus one. Although I'm using cold water out here, it's warm enough and moving fast enough where it won't freeze unless it's, I've had it freeze before at like minus four, minus five, if it's out for a while. So I should be good for a while here. Even though it's uh, minus one right now, a bit of snow. Um, just gotta keep an eye on the hose too. I've had the hose where you saw at the beginning where it moves around. Yeah, just like that. And it'll, uh, it'll actually flip out of the ring sometimes. So just gotta keep an eye on that. And one other thing I do is when I know I'm gonna fill up the, the rink with the hose, I'll leave the hose inside overnight so it's warm. So it's easy to work with. Now it's not so bad with this nylon hose because it bends easily, but some of the older hoses, I have a couple that barely move in the summer. So if I left them out, all night and then try to use them now it'd be very difficult so i'd recommend bringing it in inside if you know you're going to be flooding the night before or the night after i should say flooded yesterday for about three hours. We got water on roughly half the rink, maybe a bit less. But I'm about a quarter of the way. The water is going to get up another six inches in this corner. So I probably have another five or six hours of flooding. So I'm gonna turn on the tap now and keep it going.